Military stories matter. Hey guys, it's Eugene back with another story. And uh, this story I'm going to talk about uh, when I was enlisted, uh, what blanket parties were like back in the mid 80s. Yes, a long, long time ago. Things were a lot rougher then. Uh, and I think the story will bear itself out versus what you probably cannot do in uh, 2021. So a long time ago, when I was enlisted, before I became uh, an officer later, I was a young soldier in Fort Sill, Oklahoma, uh, 18 years old out of the great state of Pennsylvania, joined for the GI Bill, became the platoon guide for my uh, battery and for my platoon. And uh, we wanted to give the uh, neighboring battery across the breezeway, they're like these two buildings, and there's this connecting bridge, which was called a breezeway, it was open air, to lead into the next building. And uh, so I don't know whose idea it was, it, it wasn't mine, but I certainly participated. And early in the morning, we it was probably 2.30 in the morning, uh, me, Scales, Jackson, Rodriguez, a bunch of us woke up just about our, our whole platoon, just our whole battery, just about woke up and we headed towards, uh, let me say not battery, but platoon, headed towards the next platoon. And um, so we snuck in, we had our pillows, nothing in our pillows, no soap, nothing crazy, just the pillow. And what's crazy, middle of the night, it's quiet, you're stealthy, you're moving slowly. There's drill sergeants on duty downstairs and we ease into the next platoon. And these guys are dead, dead asleep, probably because we trained all day, they're tired. They don't even hear us come in. We're all in there and all of these guys are laying sound asleep <laughs> on their pillows in their little cots. And if you can picture just a, an armoire, I believe it's called, or just this this uh, place where you could put some of your uniforms, a few pictures of loved ones, your boots, and some uh, PT or physical training gear. You guys know what I'm talking about. It's a little like a, a tall dresser that opens up like this and a cot next to it. So, and they're all lined up in this open bay, soldier after soldier after soldier. And literally we're standing over almost every single soldier and none of them are waking up. <laughs> so, we give the signal, we unload on them and start pounding them with the pillows. And their entire bay wakes up and they had more soldiers in there than, than we brought. And so now it's just a free for all. Everyone's awake. Some people I'm sure are mad. Everyone's swinging pillows, we're having, it's loud. And then uh, the speaker comes on, the intercom where the drill sergeant can push the button and hear what's going on upstairs. He said, get your asses down here right now, PT uniform. And one of the sayings uh, that we used to say is you gotta love it. No matter what happens, you gotta love it. And because I was the platoon guy, I'm always giving lots of commands and, and people know my, they know my voice downstairs because I'm always interacting with the, the drill sergeants. And over the intercom, you hear them hear him say, Drill Sergeant Green, he said, that's right, Brown. Get your ass down here right now. And we were cracking up like, cause, cause he knew my voice, get down here right now. So everyone comes downstairs. It's like two 30, three o'clock in the morning in PT uniform, one drill sergeant on duty. And he has us doing drills like grass drills that you would normally do on grass. We're doing them on the concrete in the middle of the night. Then he ran us, which you're not supposed to do with one drill sergeant in the dead of night running. We did grass drills in the mud in the field, came back, did more uh, drills on the concrete. And it was getting old for me. So at I'm in the back, because that's what the platoon guides are when we're having these drills, if we're not in the front. And so I started cl clowning around a little bit because I was over it. And he uh, says, Brown, get your ass up here. And I came up to the front. And he said, you think this is funny? And he tried to grab me by my my uh, sweatshirt, but he missed and hit me in the mouth. And if you know who I am, I touched my lip. I could see that it was bleeding. I balled my fist up. He looked at me. He said, 
Oh, you want to fight? He took his drill sergeant hat off and threw it. He said, this doesn't mean nothing to me. He's like, let's go. And I know the whole platoon was probably like, oh my gosh, Brown and the drill sergeant are about ready to get into a fight. So the whole thing ended. Uh, no one got in trouble. It just, the memories you have um, from the military are memories that you will never, ever forget. So I would encourage you guys to load a story, share something that can uplift somebody today. Talk to you soon.